Here it's 76 Sweet Gum. If you remember this property, it is a beautifully wooded property and uh, we are once again in a somewhat drizzly type day making this recording. A few notes as um, coming up to the property. Very quiet street, Sweet Gum is extremely wooded. The driveway is a gravel driveway. Looking at the roof from a distance, it appears that it has a few years of uh, wear on it, so what would probably be a good idea is to consider um, an estimate for a roof in the next five, ten years or so. The siding is T-180 cedar, painted of course. What many times you see on this kind of siding is where the wood is coming in contact with the ground and you'll see a lot of moisture damage along the bottom rails, but that is not what is evident here. This is all solid. If you remember, this is what we liked about this particular house. The backyard was just gorgeous. Is an outdoor shower. The front of the house actually has two entrances, the main entrance right there and a door just beside the garage. We'll come in the main front entrance. If I remember my first reaction when we came in was I related it to a ski chalet. Lots of wood, very, very homey. Coming outside to the uh, to the screened-in porch here, there is that front door to the house, and then of course the door to the garage. Make this shot very quick because there are two little puppies here. Just on a environmental feel inside here. The, uh, it is extremely humid outside today, and inside here it is uh, quite comfortable, quite cool, and uh, very, very nice.
Behind the television there, I thought what might have been a fireplace, but it's actually just shelving that is built in. Lots of natural light. Very, very pretty. The floors, what look like wood, are a laminate flooring. Coming into the master bedroom, the bath is to the right with a stand-in shower newly done. The master bedroom has three entrances to it, or exits. The sliding glass to the outside and the deck to the guest rooms that way and from the direction that we came into from the living area. Now the nice feature of coming out of this bedroom, the master bedroom, to the hall also gets you to the washer and dryer. Opposite the washer and dryer is another guest bedroom which has access of course as you see to the outside. And the third guest, or the second guest rather. Right? Coming from the second guest bed, there is a common shower and bath in the hallway. And then right behind this are two pantry closets just off the kitchen. Something that you don't often see is a trash compactor and is there. Really very, very nice. My overall take on the house is very inviting and very warm, not temperature-wise, but just a warm, very warm feeling, the lot and the house itself.